How's it going guys? Matt here from Code Tech Tutorials. I wanted to share a little something that uh, you probably already know about. Render Dock. This is amazing for graphics programmers. If you don't know about it, you need to know about it immediately. If you do any programming in OpenGL, Vulkan, DirectX, you need to know about this. This is probably the most overlooked thing I have ever known to be over overlooked. I don't know how else to say it, but literally I've been working on my, my little game engine thing for years. And for some reason have never thought it was a good idea to go check out render doc. Although I've heard it mentioned several times, it is beyond anything anyone could possibly, anything I could possibly say more important to go get this and, and stop t t tweaking your little shaders and rerunning your stuff or whatever the heck you're doing, trying to fix your bug. Go get render doc. You can you can just tell by how much I'm I'm pushing this. How absolutely foolish I feel for not using this like years ago and years ago. I'm almost mad at my my graphics programming teacher for not telling us about this. Although he probably didn't know about it and probably still doesn't know about it because I don't know for some reason the best tools in the world seem to go unnoticed and until it's almost too late anyway and even if you're not a graphics programmer even if you're just like a gamer and are semi-curious about how the graphics work this is still awesome because you can run render doc on any game or anything that's doing anything on your graphics card and it's going to give you all kinds of information about it all right so first of all obviously you just download it and set it up you can run it on pretty much anything and there's uh documents about it if you're confused about how to use it but really it's not that complicated once you launch it I was uh, streaming last night and doing some coding and someone popped in and said, Hey, I see you're having a little problems with your lighting. Have you used render doc? And my answer was, although I've heard of it many times, no, I'm not. Let me check that out. So I did. And I was just blown away by what I've been missing. Enough hype in it. I think you get the point here. I think you know where to find it. Let me show you just a little example about how it actually runs. Okay. So you've installed it. You have the little uh, thing to launch it. And all you do is just double click it and you get this window. A couple sections here, but basically what you have to do is uh, launch a program and, and tell it what to use or tell it what to look at. So you've got all these sections, texture viewer, pipeline state, mesh viewer, launch application, resource inspector. And honestly, I haven't used this quite enough to be able to explain all of these in high detail. But uh, as you go in here and play around, you'll kind of start to see it. You can even see here in this pipeline state, it even uh, shows you some some core stuff that you'll, you're probably somewhat used to used to seeing. So let's just go to launch application here, and let me point to well, I was testing it on seven days. Let's let's do it on this before I go to my own program. Let's run it on seven days to die. So it needs to know about your executable. I just went to my where Steam apps are installed and seven days to die, and there's the launcher, or not the launcher, but the actual program. So let's let's choose that. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. And then we just launch it. And it's going to launch seven days to die, of course. And you see you get this stuff up here. It this is all from render doc. All right, so it says you press uh, F12 or print screen. But all right, let me, let's switch to my application. So as you might know, I work on a little game engine called Ancient Archer. And we're going to check that out. So I'm going to go to my, you got to go to the executable. So there's my executable. And uh, I, I have the uh, directories for for loading up resources, kind of weird. So I got to change this working directory. I figured that out previously. So if I go ahead and launch this, it's going to launch my last successful build. There it is. You can see the lighting problems. Uh, you can see it says OpenGL there, and I can press F12 and capture the frame. Cool. Well, I'll go ahead and close this now. And there's a little frame it captured. It's got a capture start. Here's the color pass. You can see it's got the skybox here. And uh, what else does it have? A back buffer color. So yeah, this is the clear color. We got one texture. There's the whole skybox there. You can see it was a dark skybox. And if we go to this pipeline state, go to like the vertex shader and then view, you can actually see the, the vertex shader as it was written. So that's kind of cool. This is kind of a way to, even if you don't have uh, access to the shader to a shipped product, you could still go look at the shader 
right here, which is super cool. It might make for a great example if you're looking for something uh, really specific. All right, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's look at the fragment shader, see if we can view that one too. I mean, we sure can, there it is. And it is my little sampler for that. There's that whole cool thing. And we can go look at something else too. Let me close that. You can see all these tabs here. Now I wanted to, yeah, this, I wanted to look at this. Now this is a little ground plane that was uh, on the ground there. And we can also go to the pipeline state on that. Check out the shader. There you can see it is. And uh, yeah, don't take too much example from uh, from these in particular. Well, you know where to find them. I've got uh, a gazillion videos about Ancient Archer and where to find the source if you want. But it's not going to be the best example in the world because it's still a work in progress with a lot of bugs. So uh, yeah. But the point is, if you're having problems, this is the perfect place to go look because you can see exactly what it's doing. For example, one of the problems I noticed is uh, I seem to have this error where I have my specular texture the same as my diffuse texture, so I need to get that sorted out. And I was I've been trying to figure this out forever, so opening up render doc and just seeing that my specular texture was set completely wrong was like, oh, oh, no wonder it's not working right. It's set to the same as the diffuse. So there's just stuff like that you can figure out in here. And uh, yeah, it's like a it's it's basically just an absolute must have if you're writing any sort of graphic software, because as you might know, the, the debugging and, and trying to figure out what's with what's going on with your graphics pipeline is incredibly hard to sort out. But render doc can uh, really give you some details that are hard to really hard to spot otherwise. So that's going to do it for this video. Just a pretty quick one. Just want to make people aware of render doc and its capabilities. It's, it's just something that shouldn't be overlooked. And I, I just, I'm blown away that I've never launched this software until last night. And I just had to make a video about it. Cause I'm sure if I've missed it for this long and I, if I've blown it off for this long, although I've heard it talked about before, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are also in the same boat. Uh, so hopefully this serves as a motivation for you to go ahead and grab render doc when I mean, it's free. Uh, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Take it easy.